Oh man, that's great. Uh, I just found out that I'm going to be a parent. I got that going on. Uh, yeah, don't clap for that. <laughs> don't, don't clap for that. Uh, apparently, my new fiance has a child. I probably should have seen that coming. There was a lot of signs, too, that she had a child. Like, every time I'd go over to her place, there's always toys laying everywhere. I just thought she was really fun. <laughs> Turned out she has some extra baggage. Which means I'm gonna be a step-parent. I don't know how I feel about being a step-parent. Because it means I have to pay for somebody else's deposit. <laughs> I'm doing the time for someone else's crime. <laughs> I don't know if I should be a parent, because I'm still childlike, you know? If you put a spitter cap on me, I'll look like a big kid. <laughs> and I do childish things all the time, you know? Like the other day, I almost got in a car accident. I know that's not really a childish thing. People get car accidents all the time. But I almost got in a car accident because I gave myself brain freeze. <laughs> I am 35 years old, and I almost died in a car accident because I gave myself brain freeze. Now I'm gonna influence a child. Another reason I don't think I'll be very good at parenting is I have had some practice. I helped raise my kid brother. He's in prison. <laughs> I'm already 0-1. My stats are not looking good. You gotta learn fast too when you're gonna be a step parent. I'm learning things all the time. Like the other day I learned I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> She is always outwitting me, all the time. Like, I was getting ready for work and she was getting ready for school. So, yeah, and then I noticed she was smuggling this giant bag of cookies. Now, the nice guy in me that wants to win over my future stepdaughter wants to let her take these cookies to school. The parent in me knows I can't let her take the cookies to school. The fat guy in me just wants to eat the cookies. <laughs> But I, I did what every good parent should do in that situation. When I told her she couldn't take the cookies to school, I said, your mom said you couldn't take the cookies to school. Uh, that way I still look like the good guy, right? And then she just looked at me and said, I'm not taking these cookies to school. I'm gonna take them to the bus stop. I'm gonna give them to all my friends and they're gonna take them to school. It's good logic for a 12 year old. I didn't know how to, how to combat that. And that's when I realized you can't argue with children, because arguing with children is like arguing with idiots. If you do it long enough, you'll end up on their level. I know, because I spent a lot of time in time out. Because <laughs> she's a tattletale. <laughs> mommy, mommy, he's eating my cookies again. <laughs> cookies are delicious. <laughs> can't help I think life needs more timeouts too, to be honest with you. Wouldn't it be great if you were at work and you screwed up and your boss came up to you and said, you know what, I think you should go sit in the corner for 15 minutes? Think about what you did. Everybody would enjoy their jobs. Uh, that's right. Man, kids, kids will ask for anything. When I was a kid, I didn't really ask my parents for a whole lot because when I was about nine, I made the mistake of asking my dad for a dollar. And instead of getting a dollar, I got traumatized because <laughs> I got a three-hour lecture on the value of the American dollar now, I know now that I am uh, I'm an adult raising a child I realized my dad was a genius because he didn't care if I learned about the value of the American dollar he just didn't want me to ask for stupid crap and it worked Holidays would come around and I wouldn't get anything cool. I'd get like whitey tidies and holiday themed sweaters. One year he bought me a box of rocks. I was like, Dad, what am I gonna do with a box of rocks? He said, son, use your imagination. So I imagined that I was a superhero and I used the rocks to rescue the toys from the toy store. <laughs> yeah, and then when I got home, he said, son, Where'd you get all these toys? I said, Dad, use your imagination. <laughs> Thank you guys, you've been awesome. My name's Dan Wiblitz. <laughs>